January 2016. I can't even believe it. Okay, I'm going to use a different spread today, guys, um, and I'm going to use some cards that I got for the holiday in conjunction with my normal vintage cards. Remember, uh, Sun, Moon, and Rising, I wrote it in the intro in case I forgot to mention it to you, so you would see it there, too. Um, okay, so let me know what you think. Leave your comments, um, and we'll tweak appropriately, but I think that this one... Um, I'll just start to talk a little bit faster, but I think it gives you more uh, detail to, to go with since I only do one video a month. Um, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. There are five out of seven trumps in here. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Okay, this could be why too. The overall energy, uh, or the person in here, is the Knight of Swords. Uh, if you're rushing something, don't. Um, he's about assertion, but sometimes he goes too quick and he misses things. So um, don't rush is what I just got off that. Um, Think of new ways to expand um, your life overall. I think maybe that's what you're trying to do. There's a change coming here. You Starting the new year, you just want to change everything. <laughs> don't rush. D d don't rush and then overwhelm yourself. Pace yourself. There's either, once we get into this, there are a lot of, uh, although I think you're doing this to yourself, which is a good thing. Um, just don't rush it because you're, you're wanting to make a lot of changes here. Um, and you don't have all the answers that you think you do. So, again, I'm going to reiterate, don't rush at whatever you're trying to change here. Um, because you are trying to think of new ways to expand your life is, is where I'm going here. There is someone who is romantically interested in you. Again, guys, I, 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 I waited today to do these readings because I just, I just w wasn't feeling it. And I don't, do, I don't, I don't read when I'm, I'm just not, uh, when I know better. Let's just put it that way. Today was a great day, and what I'm getting from this is don't rush. I think you're trying to revamp your whole life, um, and that's great, but pace yourself. Um, there is someone, again, who is uh, someone who's romantically interested in you. Um, take this relationship slow. This is not something, again, that you want to rush into. Um, get to know this person. If you're currently in a relationship, uh, it's going to go to uh, a new level here. Something is going to change um, because you are trying to change your life. That includes your relationships, your current relationships. The focal point uh, here in this read is the moon card. This is, just came up in my last reading, too, and I do shuffle, guys. This is, again, why I'm telling you to slow down. Not everything is as you think it is. Um, trust your intuition. If you're getting, uh, if your gut is telling you something, pay attention to that. And I'm going to come back to that because there's a lot going on here. And I, I want to see if these are people or things you're doing. Okay. In the near past, we have the emperor. He's all about authority. Standing in your truth. Building a foundation that's for you. Beliefs that are yours, not other people's or outlived. Um, and I think that that's what you're trying to change here, too, is just your your structure, your you know what you stand for, what you you know, the words that come out of your mouth, what they actually are about you. Um, this card comes up when you're in need of direction, and that's what I think you're doing. Um, trust your own instincts. That's what is coming up here, too. That Trust your own instincts. He's also telling you to trust your own instincts. Um, Long-term financial blessings are coming here, too. Um, they're coming your way. If 
there's areas in your life um, This relationship uh, may be something that um, broke off, but it's circling back around. Maybe that's who this person is um, that's got the that, that that has the interest in you. That's what I think it is. I don't think it's somebody new. I think it's, uh, there may have been um, a separation or something, but this person is still very much showing up in two of these cards. Um, <laughs> if there's areas that you're being too rigid, uh, to yourself or to other people, just be aware of that. Um, if there's areas uh, in your life that you need discipline with uh, or areas that you need to address, do that. Um, okay, there you have it. The current position is the temperance. She's all about moderation, um, balance. Uh, she's also about something new, starting something new. And that is, I think, what you're trying to do here. On a magnificent, like a huge scale, um, like you're taking a bulldozer to your life and clearing the field. Again, I'm going to reiterate, this is wonderful, but don't... Uh, don't, what did they say, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Make sure that you're just really uh, paying attention to yourself. In the near future, you've got the nine of, uh, the nine of swords. This is about uh, not being able to sleep, not getting good sleep, uh, having a lot going on in your mind, which you clearly are, um, not feeling... Uh, up to par, a little bit of, uh, you know, disappointment, desperation. I think this is around a relationship. Something may have happened over the holidays or something may have been happening. Um, but but it, it, it's an established relationship. For those of you that aren't in a relationship, a new one is coming. Someone, you're not going to need to get on the dating sites because someone who, uh, somehow already knows you, is interested in you. And if you don't know who that is, you're not going to get to go looking for them because they're going to show you who, they're going to show up. They're going to make the, that part of how they feel about you known. Uh, the obstacle here is the King of Wands. Now this is somebody, um, it could be yourself, you could be in your own way because it's an Aries, Leo, or Sag, which is you. Um, Now isn't the time to limit yourself, which you're not, clearly. Um, but heed the warning to not, uh, not, you know, go too fast. Make sure that this is something that you're passionate about. And I think that you are. Otherwise, uh, we don't get the desire to, to clear out like you're doing if this isn't something that you really want. Um, Something changed recently for you, and you've just decided that you're going to put you first, um, which is wonderful. I could not be happier. That's I'm all about that. You have the vision of where you're going. And again, this is something that you've wanted to do. Um, go. Do it.
do it. Make sure that uh, it's something that uh, fills and inflames you. And I know I don't need to say that because it's written all over this reading. The, the uh, message on that particular card is go. Make sure that you do it. I got a big go on that. Okay. The blessing card is the empress. You've got the emperor and the empress in this reading. Um, she's about creativity. So whatever it is that you're trying to do, um, make sure that you do it. It's in the obstacle position. If something comes up, uh, if somebody says something to you counterproductive, pay them no mind. You got a big go on that card. That's what held me up. I could see you, you got a big go. So make sure that no one or nothing stands in your way. This is your time. And I think that that may come out of the woodwork is someone trying to dampen your fire. Don't let that happen. Please don't let that happen. Um, the em Empress, she's in the blessing position, so I'm not going to worry about it. And you've got the emperor in the past position, so you're gonna go. You're gonna you're gonna do it. She's all about creativity. She's also a fertility card, guys. Um, she's all about uh, you know what you put your attention to grows. And once you start walking in that way, that's why I'm saying make sure that you do this, because once you start the physical movement of it, it the uh, the universe is gonna caboose you. Like I said, um, just don't rush. And this is funny. You've got the clarity to know this. I never get the um, the hanged man in reverse. I, I, I very rarely get reversals. You've got him in the outcome, in the reverse. Um, you don't need a timeout. You know what you're doing. I just say don't rush. Um, yeah, he's about surrender, the outcome card, the, the uh, hanged man. He's about surrender when he's in his regular position in the reverse position, which I never get. Um, <laughs> and I never get this many trumps either in here in a reading. So you're hell bent on doing what you're going to do. And I could not be happier. Um, yeah, whatever held you up here is clearing out. So again, this is going to be a, a fast month for you. Just pace yourself. Um, Cause I think you may run up against some resistance here from someone or yourself, don't let it get in your in your way here. Okay, I'm going to pull some clarity here. Just bear with me. Let's see what's not come to light here. Wow, okay, you've got good fortune and truth. So what you couldn't see here, and you've got the power to do this, meaning you've got the backing. So whatever um, whatever was hidden where I told you to trust your intuition, you get something comes out where that void is filled. You know now what that missing link was. So, you know, that is the truth, meaning you stand in your truth here. There is going to be, surrounding that relationship, um, there's going to be a choice to be made around there. I think there may be more than one person in that scenario there. That may be what uh, went on. Um, but it, you, you, you pick up from that. Like, it, it clears itself, um, meaning you're making better choices. Maybe one of you treated the other the wrong way and it was the breaking straw over the holidays or something happened. But whatever it is, um, whether that relationship gets put to rest or whether a new one comes in, um, I think what's keeping you up here, what's going on here, is uh, the choices that you're making around these people.
there's an older woman in this scenario too. By older, I mean just not a young, a young person, younger person. Well, you gain momentum from that. So whatever that is, you decide what you're going to do, and you do it. So your sleepless nights are limited. Okay. Okay. The emperor here. I told you guys he was in the obstacle position, and I was worried that someone or something might slow you down. They don't. You've got confirmation here. Whatever it is that you're going for brings you wealth. Something's going on with that relationship, though. Um, and you find out what it is. I'm not going to elaborate any more on that, but you find out what that is. Okay, you're going to get a nice surprise here, too. I'm going to say, um, you grow from it, whatever it is. The surprise here is going to come in the form of a letter, uh, an email. I think that something financial gain is coming somehow through, uh, through that. All right, somehow, I don't know what it is, but something is going on with that relationship that started. Uh, I think that the clarity that you're needing here, I know you get it, and because it's coming out all over here. But I'm not worried, because um, you're not hung up in the end. Whatever it is, or whatever it does uh, you, you you come right through it? There, yep. Major change for you. The direction you do step into this. This is something that you've wanted to do, and the judgment card is showing up here, which means that it's your calling, and you know it. You've decided to go this way around. And you diligently keep at it. It's not something that uh, you give up. Okay. Very good. I'm going to say, though, that relationship uh, uh, watch your time with that. Um, but other than that, um, I don't see. I see good news coming to you, surprises via letters, uh, something is coming to you that's going to surprise you, which is good, I hope. Let's see. I just think that uh, a lot of the changes that you're making, you're just done with things that weren't working, and I don't know in this equation where that relationship plays a role, but it's it plays a big role here. Um, and you've got a lot of trumps here. You've got five... Six trumps out of seven. Change is definitely in the air here. So, um, and this is not something that you're not orchestrating. You're doing this. This much change does not happen at one time unless you're already aware of what you're doing. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. I think that it works out well for you. You've, you're very, you're very strong, or you've got a very strong foundation around you, and you breeze right through here. And your perspective is where it should be, as far as this. I said being rigid or needing more discipline in certain areas. Those are things that you can work on, but they're not things that are going to slow you down or hinder anything here. So, okay, Leo, I hope that that helped you in some way. Happy January. Please send me a note and let me know um, what that is, uh, if you like. But I, I just think it's going to play a, a large role in this, and I think that's why you're steamrolling through everything here. But don't rush. Don't rush. Um, and just let me know. Okay, I'm here if you need me. If you need a personal reading, please check out my website. I'd be more than happy to um, look at anything that you need. Okay, thank you so much. Have a wonderful January, Leo.